turns out making a mask is a lot easier than making a video about making a mask. This is Monica from Wicked Aviary and this is my first video and I am so happy you're watching. Let's go learn how to make this. So in order to make that plague mask we need a mask of your face and let's just make one. I need some aluminum foil and masking tape my face and a little bit of patience. Well, let's just do this. Just keep going. Almost there. Oh. All right, that'll do. Let's begin. Okay, so this is the mask. I started putting tape on, just regular masking tape, and uh, let's cover it all around and put it on gently and just once in a while, put it back on your face. And press it into place. So now it's fully covered and now the last step I put it on to a piece of cardboard because this shape here is important I don't want this to be squished this is the shape of my face. So I'm just going to put this onto the piece of cardboard here because next I'm going to add some paper strips and we are going to turn it into this. So what I'll do is I have some glue here, diluted it with water. And we we'll just add again patiently. Yeah, just like that. Cover the whole thing. And Ta-da, that's what she will have. So then you have a mask to work with. So let's continue with the beak. You can download this pattern from my website, wickedaviary.com, and it is under the DIY project section, the Gilded Plague Doctor. You want to cut this out, including those little notches here just like this and then we want to transfer the pattern onto a cardboard now I'm using a cereal box here so it's transferred and I have two pages of cardboard here because I'm gonna need two each now all I have to do is cut it out so here we have our beak um, now make sure you have the markings on both sides so you can use the pattern to just make sure you transfer those uh, notches because it will help putting it together. Here. Then we'll take, okay, let's work on the upper beak. We take the part that does not have any notches and we tape them together. So this part up here, just with masking tape, line them up and just like that. Okay. The same thing with the other part, 
the lower part, the part that has no marking on it, put together just like that. Okay, now the two peaks are put together. So the upper and the lower. Now let's match up those notches. So take the upper peak and put some tape behind the notches. Just like that. There. Now let's see if this works. And then take this notch and this notch. Put it there, put this one, and then you have to force it a little bit, and it might not be lining up exactly, but let's try to go as close as possible. And there we are. Yeah, this works. And then just put tape, tape to hold it together. So see here, I have to force it a little bit, and then we do the same thing on the other side. Tape in the back. A little, a little tricky but again you have to force the paper a little bit and tape it there and then you can see it's starting to look like a beak then we just add more tape all around Go for it. This tape. There. And just squeeze the upper beak together and the lower beak kind of goes into it. And it will be covered uh, with uh, paper mache and paper clay eventually. So it doesn't matter if it is not smooth. So yeah, that's the first step. Right, both parts are ready now of my mask. I cut some um, eyes out so I can see when I put it on and here's my beak. So now let's join it together. I'll uh, take some tape here and then let's kind of match it onto the mask. Now this is going to be a little tricky. Um, if you find that you have too much tension then you can easily just cut the little relief cut on the bottom here of the beak. I just like that and it will it'll give it'll, it will give you more space. Hmm. As you can see this is probably the most awkward part. Of making this mask so just take lots of tape tape it on and what I actually found that this um, cardboard is a little bit heavy so on the next next mask I'm going to use something different So you just force it and then try it on.
try it on many times see if how you like the angle going the beak going away from the face and for that you have to just try it on and move it and until you are satisfied so let's see hey i am happy with the positioning of the beak i taped it down well and my next step is use my brush and glue and newspapers or flyers and do another one to two layers of paper on here to make it strong okay fully covered with paper and i cleaned up the inside and covered it with the masking tape and now i'm gonna go over with the, a layer of paper and glue too Next step, I want to put on some goggles. Now I had those little containers, I always thought they look neat. And uh, I'm going to use those to build some goggles here. And all I did is cut a strip of that uh, cereal box and cut it down in an angle. And And then I'm just going to tape it on like this. I'm just going to use tape and then I'm going to go straight on with the paper clay. Okay, this is my paper clay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it out. And I want it as thin as possible, so I have some plastic underneath here, because it is sticky. Now my paper clay, there are many recipes online, mine is just paper and glue and some cornstarch to just bind it to be, uh, together be better. Just a plastic bag I cut up and roll it out. Now this one I want as thin as possible. There, now I'm just going to drape it over this. Um, should I put some glue underneath? not really necessary it helps it adhere a little bit but it will work without it too and as well just add a little bit just helps it stick but uh, this is not necessary just a little bit going to stick it on. Put it on. Smooth it out with your finger or with the tool. There. So I made this as smooth as possible and uh, just a very thin layer. And I'm going to let it dry now. So I started covering the top of the mask here with another layer of paper clay. And 
and on here I would like to kind of have a, sp uh, a spell or something so I'm gonna try with this belt here rather me trying to draw something in it let's see if I can do that Okay. Okay, I like that. So I added the nose piece and kind of made a line here. Try to make it as sharp as possible and as even as possible. Now, at this point, I tend to actually mess up a lot of the work I already did, so I think I'm going to stop. I'm just going to add some more um, imprints here, and then I'm going to let it dry before I put in the tip. Okay, now we are almost done. Now I'm just going to do a little bit more decorating. I put two uh, little rings in here and I'm going to put two more then I can put some chains in if I choose to do so. So for that, I should do it here now, do it here. Just have a little glue and hopefully this will stick. Yes, a little detail work in like make little grommets or something start with the all right i think it's about done i sanded it a bit i mean it's not really necessary but uh, it just makes it look a little bit sharper at least uh, regular sandpaper. Now I'm going to paint. So I'm going to be painting it just matte uh, black all over and also on the inside. Quite happy the way this looks. So next I'm going to add some Silver, I think. I'm going to start with that. Now. I'm just adding layers and layers until I like it. So my first step is I decided to go with silver. Just gently. Brush it on. So my mask is all done. It is very light and easy to wear. And all I did is I added a little bit of gold over the silver, added the chain, glued on my goggles, and there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. It is all free, and I will see you next time.